care for me Got the black currant berries Everyone go care for me Push up and cool upon on the beat Say something to me He my homie Dab him up at the Sarge Tavern Whip around in the JYE Till the vibe is complete He A Yo Elevate your bros Tell him to be eco efficient And use a rubber water and hose That's what you telling me I better whip around in the JYE Till the vibe is complete Whip around in the JYE Till the vibe is complete Pull up with a knife and a gay yeah, yeah. Big booby family got women going ra ta 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 The super soaker going gra 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 In the afternoon there was a storm coming And I have the feeling that the thunder be going boom Rattles my womb When I was struck by lightning in the apple orchard The finna be my doom like ooh ooh I come through for you Push up with cruel upon Watching Wii Sports anime and cartoons Then we smoking cigs on the late nights Get higher than the sky, hope you never die Get to fly up then down back to the house We making black currant pies with none of this clout We say that's not what we about I shout what I see I see cruel upon Ben on the beat Talking that slang to me Dab up all the homies Black currant pies are not for the phonies I'm on top of the industry Give me a Tony And girls tell it They wanna owe me and bow me Now I'm getting hungry Find a place for us to chow down and eat I can knock the top So I start to stutter Black currant berries Everyone go care for me Black currant berries Everyone go care for me Got the black currant berries Everyone go care for me Post up with cruel upon on the beat Say something to me He my homie Dap him up at the Sarge Tavern Whip around with the JYE Till the vibe is complete Ay, hey, elevate your bros Tell it to be eco-efficient And use a rubber water hose That's what you telling me I better whip around JYE Episode of 95.7 The Talk. My name is Snitchy, and soon I will be joined with my brother Joe um, in part two of this episode. So basically, I'm going to be talking about Snitchy Fest and the and all the logistics of it. So with with that being said, let's jump right into it. First of all, we got the Plaza. We got the um pink. The pink tropical dolphin plaza, the or pink tropical island dolphin island or whatever, whatever the heck you want to call it. I don't really know, um, but that's the plaza. Actually, I'm gonna call it the nano plaza because basically it'll be something because it's where you just go to interact with the other um, creators. It's more kind of like a content creator convention, kind of like TwitchCon in a sense. And um, people will soon realize that it's not actually just a music festival. I did not intend it to be just a music festival. I want this to be something where people can come together and be like united and to kind of you know see different sides in people and see and kind of see the good in people you know like it's it's just one of those things where i'm like i really want to just bring people together for the good of bringing people together and uniting them instead of having a bunch of like you know division but point is the the thing i'm trying to get here get at here is um that it will start with um you will get on once you get to the area um like the convention center area you will then get on a sh one of the um hyper shuttles and it will take you to the plaza area. It will probably, I'm going to call the, um, it'll be called the uh, Peach Plaza or something. Or something really cool. I'm going to think of a name uh, um, when I'm done recording and then I'm going to get it, get back to you guys in the second half, in the second part of this episode with my brother Joe 
and then I will announce the name of that. Or I may actually, you know, think think it up during this episode. So you're gonna get on the hyper shuttle because we won't have the um, pods yet. Um, this is like the 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 very like beginning stages of of the uh, festival or convention. Actually, it's actually more of a convention, not a festival. It's not a music festival. If it was a music festival, it'd be like Coachella, and that 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 crap is just boring to begin with. I know Coachella's fun and all, but there's not much to do. It's just a bunch of girls taking pictures of each other half the time. And guys just going absolutely crazy. I mean, like, that's not fun. To me, that's not fun. Just guys doing stupid stuff and girls just taking a billion selfies. I'm like, I want something like a convention, like TwitchCon, the Columbus Auto Show, the Boat Show. Um, so it'll kind of be like all of that in one. <laughs> Just a bunch of different content creators. Um, Then we'll have meet and greets. We'll have a lot. We'll have plenty of food. We'll have we'll have multiple cafe areas within the um, Pink Dolphin Plaza. I'm just gonna leave it at that for now until I come up with the Pink Island Dolphin Plaza or just Pink Dolphin Plaza because it's a whole vaporwave thing. I'm kind of going for so. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of the dolphin, because, I don't know, it has to do with, like, acid trips and crap, like, something like that. But Snaichi Fest is probably going to be one of those things that is going to be kind of like the seven wonders of the world type of thing, where you have an iconic founder, which would be yours truly, and then... Um, an amazing staff. I really just want to pinpoint the fact that my staff, I, I want them to work very, very hard to keep the, the facilities nice and organized throughout the year. Because, I mean, we're going to do it at the beginning of each season. So like on the first day of spring, summer, winter, and fall, that it will happen the first like four days of the se- of the new season. So then we're gonna be getting. Let's get more into the Pink Dolphin Plaza of uh, aspect of things. So with the Pink Dolphin Plaza, when you're there, you're gonna go in. You're gonna get your um, hyper stamp which is a kind of like a, it's a digital stamp you'll you'll get your little bar your uh, barcode stamp and so then you can just scan things with your the back of your hand because it's easier to do that than having a actual like card like or or kind of like a, a, a receipt type of thing because if you have like a receipt, I mean, it can get lost. And you don't want that. So you're just gonna get a little thing imprinted onto your hand. So then you can go in and out of like the restaurants and stores inside the Pink Dolphin Plaza. Then we're gonna have the entrances to the uh, different hotels where you will be able to um, have room service and um, you'll have a kitchen and you can actually cook in there and not it's not going to be one of those rinky dinky hotel kitchens that you see in like regular hotels it'll be more upscale so then you can actually live there so technically in a sense once you get the hotel room you just got yourself a house in a sense that i mean that that's going to be really really cool for 
a lot of a lot of reasons. We will also have ultra fast, like hyper fast room service because our food and beverage bots, our fab bots, will be like really lightning fast and you're gonna have you're gonna have food within like 10 minutes of ordering it because it's gonna because it's all cooked with robots so basically you're gonna I, I, I want people to really appreciate the service and not take it for granted because we're doing something to kind of, you know, help out the community. It's kind of that help out the community. But then also, the thing that's going to be powering the plaza is actually going to be an, an energized opal. I know that sounds really, really weird to say right now, but we're going to have an energized opal for the power source there won't and you're going to only have air charging so we're going to have so we're going to have these things called the uh, called air chargers and you basically will put it in the center of the room because it needs 360 a 360 degree signal um, it has like 360 degree signal receptors inside of it and it needs to be placed in the middle of the room for it to like function but at, well I, I take that back actually you can put it anywhere in the room and it'll just you, you your stuff will just charge like if you're near it yeah it'll charge because you'll feel your phone vibrate in your pocket but then eventually we're gonna be like phones um aren't gonna really be needed in the like far future because we're gonna have these things called nano diamonds where the nano diamond is gonna read your clothing so then it will scan because obviously your dna gets all over the cl your clothing so then uh like your fingerprints and whatnot so then you can just take your nano diamond and scan your clothing it'll register the clothing send it to your phone then on your phone you can just select the outfits like you can just pre-select all the outfits and then it'll pick one for you. So then you don't have to worry about scrambling around in your suitcase or in your shelf. Because if you end up li wanting to live there, um, you're going to obviously have to have a dresser and one will be provided. For, um, luckily enough, we will have furniture and appliances for people because if you do want to live there because we will have little housing villages and stuff um then you will have all the amenities provided like you don't have to go out and buy stuff and bring it back to the hyperplex because really, in a sense, you can just not worry about everything, not getting everything, and it'll already all be there, all paid for, all covered, all, all, all the insurance will be covered, so you don't have to worry about a thing. And now back to like the main part of the convention plaza the um pink dolphin convention plaza will um basically ask you when you get to the okay so when you get to the gate um it will ask you if you are visiting renting 
or purchasing a um, pod house or a personal organism dome which is like the weirdest thing I just came up with but a pod, the pods will be known as your personalized organism domes because you're the organism living in the dome so it makes sense and then you're gonna want so once you've selected one of the three options then it will take you to the selected pod because you can actually personally select what pod you want to be in <laughs> excuse me um but then so okay if you s i mean there it's gonna be like kind of like the convention center in downtown columbus but it'll have it's it, it's gonna have a lot to it so um you'll be able to d depending on which one you stay in or l decide to purchase you can um get access to more things um, and then you'll be able to, you know, order stuff quicker, depending on how close you are, and depending if you have the Hyperplex Plus app downloaded. Because there, you could just literally go into the app and just order stuff. And you don't have to worry about going to these separate stores inside of the Pink Dolphin Plaza and buying stuff at the full market price because on the app, you'll be able to get it at an insanely good discount. Um, like, I'm talking like 60, 70% off like every day. Like, it, it'll just be an eternal sale. <laughs> I guess, because I'm just a generous guy, and I want the best for every participant there at the convention. So, there's that. And um, now kind of moving on to the personal personalized organism domes, or the pods. So these personalized organism domes are going to have a full-blown kitchen, couch and TV, uh, a like an 80-inch QLED flat curved flat screen TV. Like these are going to be the most upscale place ho type of hotel. These are going to be like the most upscale hotel rooms that you'll you will ever be able to find in the entire world like these are gonna they may look expensive but I'm gonna be nice and make everything ch insanely cheap like it's gonna be all most like hyper modern if you if if you want to put it put it like that um then you're going to have an 80-inch QLED curved flat-screen TV, a hyper-modern couch, a touchscreen coffee table, a full-blown kitchen and dishwasher that has a self-cleaning mechanism in it or self-cleaning technology inside of it. That that is how advanced Snitchy Fest is going to be, and how advanced the Hyperplex is going to be, because without it, life is gonna just go slow. But I want it to go fast. You're gonna, you're really gonna like. I mean, I want people to really enjoy this. Like, I don't want them just go in there and be like, "Oh, this this sucks." And then um, leaving and feeling dissatisfied with it. So I want people to really come and enjoy this. 
not be like, ah, oh, this sucks, and I don't want to be her, and everything, everything here is disgusting. I don't want to. I don't want people do. I don't want people like feeling that way. I want them to come in and say, I love this. This is the best service I've ever gotten, and I'm gonna live here. See, if people, I, because I kind of want. I'm kind of, you know, expecting a reaction from people that will leave a good impression on the staff and myself. Because so then, you know, and obviously we'll have a name book because we want to remember you. And once you leave, then... You can always, you know, just call us anytime. Like it, it, it'll be fine. Like first, for, first and foremost, it'll probably be my number, but it probably won't. I'm not going to give it out on 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 this show because I don't want a billion people calling me. <laughs> Sorry about that. A little bit of a cough. Um, but, okay. Now we got to go on to the stores. So I want to explain these stores real quick. All Snitchy Fest stores. So these will all be the thing, places you can shop at in the Hyperplex convention center arena thing whatever so basically um we're gonna have so this is the full list so the first thing the first thing you see when you walk in will be the bricks and boulders hardware store because I mean, you need hard you you need that stuff to live there if you want to live the, if you're gonna be living there. So bricks and boulders, it's just gonna kind of be like I don't know Lowe's type of thing, and or it's gonna kind of be like a I don't know combination of like Nutter Hardware and Home Depot. <coughs> then you have Amphibia Tech minus. Which, which this is going to be like your boating apparel and swimwear, where you can really it'll be like, um, like I, I kind of want the ads to be like, come down today to Amphibia Tech Minus. We are having a fifty percent off sale on wetsuits or something like that. Or something like the ads are gonna be fun. I'm gonna I'm gonna have a blast doing the ads. Um, but Amphibia Tech minus and then Amphibia Tech plus, two different things, but sell the same stuff. Like the plus is va a a well, actually the plus thing if, when you go onto the um, Hyperplex Plus app or just the Hyperplex app itself. We're gonna have the um, Amphibia Tech Plus section. If you go on to the drop down menu and select Amphibia Tech, and then go into the Amphibia Tech thing, there will be another. There will be another drop down menu where it will say Amphibia Tech Plus. Do you want to sign up to be an Amphibia Tech Plus customer? And if you select yes, it will automatically register you. And you don't have to go through paying a bunch of paying for a bunch of other crap. It'll just once you hit yes, it'll send a signal to our system where it will say this person is now a Amphibia Tech Plus member and you will get discounts on everything you purchase. So, like, if you get a, um, yes, we will sell pontoon boats, don't ask, um, you'll get, like, 85% off on a sea -Doo pontoon boat from this date to this to this date to that date, or whatever. 
So minus is just you know regular in store stuff that you want to buy. The plus is like the extent is like the extension of it, where you can actually go online and buy the stuff that's not that would not normally be sold in the store. But we will actually have things that aren't sold in the store that will be sold in the store. So there's that. And then we are going to move on to the Matterhorn Department Store of Designer Fashion and Footwear. That's a long title. (laughs) It's a really long title. Um... The Matterhorn Department Store of Designer Fashion and Footwear is going to have all your designer brands and our own personalized um, cyber glider shoes that will you will need. You really will need the cyber gliders because if you don't have cyber gliders, you can't go in a lot of the other buildings. Not the other like stores. I'm talking about like the other buildings because the the way the floor is, the floors are gonna be like what you see in a sci-fi movie. They're gonna be pure white slabs of glass, and they're gonna be insanely slippery. So, cyber gliders are actually kind of like a hoverboard in a sense, but they're separated. And they will grip the ground. They will have nano... They're obviously obviously going to be made out of nanotechnology. And then you'll be able to, you know, glide or grip the ground whenever you need to. Um, so then... what? Because the most of the floors are going to be slippery slabs of glass. Because it's all going to be like futuristic sci-fi stuff. So then there's that. And then you'll all obviously have your designer clothing, like waffle shirts, sweaters, button-downs, shorts, underwear, socks, everything. I mean, everything. Backpacks, lunch boxes, the whole nine yards for that. Now we just move on to the main facility itself, the OHEF, or the OHEF. The Om- Omnisphere Hyperplex Entertainment Facility of the uh, like invention and creation and whatnot. Um, that's just the whole facility itself, and then the Furrow Furrow Fantasy Island Sports Complex, which will be a small gym type of like field house type of thing. So that, in turn, will be like a little sports arena you can actually access freely and you don't need any type of, you know, registration. You can just go in there, shoot hoops, throw a football, throw a baseball, shoot, shoot, yeah, shoot hoops, as I I just said. Um, And then you can obviously, you know, there will be a juice bar. We'll have juice bars. We won't have any booze. Because, you know, I don't want people becoming alcoholics. I'm trying to, you know, kind of be safe with people. So we're just going to have juice bars. We're just going to have cold-pressed juice instead of alcohol. Next is the Canadian Goose Food Arena. This is only for Snitchy Fest Canada and Snitchy Fest USA only. Not for Snitchy Fest Africa or Snitchy Fest Asia. Actually, Snitchy Fest Eurasia. It's Europe and Asia because the facility is going to sit on the border of the Europe and Asian regions. Hence why it is called Snitchy Fest Eurasia. And those all will pop up later. I'm not going to... I'm going to get into that in, like, a future episode in, like, Snitchy Fest Part 3. So then we have the Hypernova Golf Simulator Lab. Um, where it's just a golf simulator. Let me uh, readjust this mic. So... Uh, 
Um, so basically what that is entailing is there will be a golf simulator because probably I'm going to be golfing quite a bit. <laughs> It'll be like a nine-hole simulator. It'll be a nine-hole golf course simulator that will actually take like you will actually go through nine holes but it's just like a pr like the the um like the your environment will just be a per a project a hologram that's what i mean and then ice dragon cavern of frozen yogurt where you can go get your little cup of custard because you know it's gonna kind of be in the middle of the desert. I forgot to mention that it that it might be in the middle of the desert. So you're gonna have your frozen yogurt, and you'll have well, we might actually have Aritas, and I might you know drop 10k to open up a Chick Fil A in the Hyperplex. So there's that, and then vintage vaporwave. We will sell all clothes like. Vaporwave aesthetic apparel. Shirts, socks, underwear, shoes, sandals, flip flops, slides, what cyber gliders. You can get you can get the uh, you can get some tropical looking cyber gliders. I mean we're gonna sell cyber gliders in every single one of these stores. So then we have bricks and boulders sub store which is gonna gonna be a smaller version of it, and then Amphibia Tech, the actual main Amphibia Tech store, not the plus or the minus stores. This is the full blown like Cabela's type thing, where you're gonna have everything that wouldn't be sold on the on in the store and or on the website and whatnot. And then after that, you'll have the giant, the the Gavema or the giant vending machine. You can get soda, Jello soda. Yeah, that will be a thing. By the way, don't don't be don't get all weirded out and be like he's just saying stuff out of the blue. No, like I've had I no like ever since I made the furrow furrow Fanta song. Which actually has another name, which is te I think yeah technically my shopping cart song. Ever that kind like I've always kind of been a fan of Exotic Pop. If you want to go check them out, I will link Exotic Pop down in the description of this episode, so you can go to their website and check out all the cool soda that they have. And soon, um, huh, I don't know. Maybe one day I will be able to have discount stuff and all that but for now no just I'll just link the website down in my disc in the description so then we'll have the and then if you want to get booze we will have booze but not a ton of it it'll just be it within the bearded dragon distillery because the reason for that name is I kind of wanted a bearded dragon like years ago when I was still taking sax saxophone lessons because I would, you know, sometimes go to the pet store right next to it, next to the music store, and they had bearded dragons, and I really wanted one, so then that's kind of where the name for the bearded dragon dist distillery comes from. Then we have Protein Soda Incorporated. So Protein Soda Incorporated I mean, it's obvious in the name that we're going to sell protein soda. Like, actual, like, healthy, like, fruit soda. That's not, like, artificial garbage. Not dissing, like, Mountain Dew or Fago or anything. But I'm just saying as a statement that we're going to have fruity sodas that will be insanely healthy for you. And that will not rot your teeth out of your head. Then we have my famous Zucchini Chips Plus. Then Zucchini Chips Plus 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 is the website 
if you go to zucchinichipsplus.com, you'll go to you can go to the drop down menu and select zucchini chips plus plus plus, and you can get the rare exotic flavor of sauces and zucchini chips. Next, we have Cheese Haven, which will just sell a bunch of cheese. I mean, I'm going to probably have different epi- The Snitchy Fest store arc will be in a later season, actually. So then, Cold Press Juice Winery will just be fruity wines. Um, seafood Shack, we're just... It, it, it's... That, okay, first of all, I've kind of been, like, really obsessed with this lo-fi, this late-night lo-fi aesthetic thing for, like, the past six years. Hence why I stay up so late is because of that. If you, if you don't really want to know why I'm always, so, I'm up so late, um, it's because of that. <laughs> Um, yeah, so the Seafood Shack will open at, like, 4 in the afternoon and close at, like, 1 in the morning the next day. So, yeah, let's, let's see, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, so it'll be open for a good 9 hours. Um... And then Department 7-Eleven, which will be our other retail apparel store. And then Vintage Vinyls, that was kind of inspired by my girlfriend. Um, because she likes collecting vinyls and stuff. And then, what the frick of the heck is that? <laughs> the Reef, Reef Minus. Wait, um. Darn it. I just forgot what it was, <laughs> but okay, never mind. Forget that. I'll probably rename that because I just totally forgot what it stood stood for. Um, but then, okay, so once all that, once you've discovered all the stores, um, then you can go to the music halls and watch the performances. Now, the thing with the seats, the the thing that I want to mention about the seats is that when you sit down, you will register yourself into the seat. Basically, it takes attendance. And I, I sound like a school teacher right now. <laughs> but, yeah, I want to really just pinpoint the fact that you have a menu in the arm of your chair. So you can just be like, ooh, cheesesteak. Boop, selected. Food and beverage bot brings you the cheesesteak. And then if you want to get like cheesesteak, soda, and chips, boom. Food and beverage bot brings the cheesesteak, soda, and chips. That's how it works. That That's really how it works. Like, you don't have to worry about getting up and going to a freaking concession stand every single time you get hungry during a performance because these performances are going to be, like, three to four hours long because there's going to be a bunch of different people performing and you're going to need something to eat. So if you're there all day from, like, nine in the morning to, like, six in the evening, you're going to need breakfast, lunch, and dinner there because... If you don't eat something, the chair will actually start beeping at you that you need to go eat. They will be kind of self-aware. I'm sorry to scare people, but I want things to be more, you know, efficient and whatnot. So, there's that. And also, um... I just want to pinpoint the fact that I have not done an episode in weeks and I feel like a total idiot because I feel like I should be more consistent with this stuff. So I will get back to you in Snitchy Fest Part 2 and Snitchy Fest Part 3 will probably with, be with my brother. So I'm going to do more explaining of Snitchy Fest in the next episode. So with that being said, um, I'm going to sign off on this episode and we're going to get into this next one and then I'm going to just combine the two 
because that's how I roll. <laughs> I will see you all next time, and hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Leave your thoughts down in the comments, and click like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Peace. That's how we do it, boys. Snatch it on the beat. Yo. Yeah. Woohoo. Grrrr. Oh.